warm-ups. There's lots of different warm-ups. There's lots of different ways you can warm your voice up. This is what I like to do. Everyone is different. Every person does their own thing. But this is my personal one for what I think makes sense to me. Okay. I have an issue with big heavy warm-ups before you start singing and you go hang on a second how am I going to get my voice there um the reason why this is for me is because we get so many tissues right which I exp uh, yeah, I'll explain in the health but we only get um we can only break up our tissues so much in a day before they have to repair so I don't want to waste my voice breaking it open doing all this warming up which is going to give me less time with singing okay um then being able to do a warm-up that's going to keep my tissues together so when i start singing and they're breaking up i haven't wasted my tissues i hope that makes sense okay so what i like to do uh, warming up wise let's just say in the morning um you can hum okay humming is not stressing the body out it's just vibrating very lightly and making everything wake up which is lovely and it's nice okay being in a shower and and having that steam in the shower too and humming again good because it all goes in into the into your chest um but for a quick warm-up just say you're having to warm up you forgot to you know you haven't really talked that much that day um, and you've got to go into a singing class or you've got a rehearsal or you've got a gig and you're like, man, I've, like, I've done nothing. What I like to do that usually gets my body awake and on it in a couple of, you know, couple of seconds is trilling. Now, some people can trill, some people can't. Usually you can do one or the other. So either one is fine. What I like to do is I like to go through the range on a trill. So with your first one let's do one most people can do which is the lip one now this one can tickle your nose and stuff and this is about it vibrates everything to a point not as strong as the tongue but what you want to do is this one vibrates all your articulators so you're going to go from your lowest note to your highest note and back down and you're going to rev it like a, a, a motorbike all right so we're going to go like this and this is going to help you also work on breathing from your from your stomach so you're going to breathe in <laughs> till you run out of air now i did it too long so i ran out of air and had to breathe in you want to try and do that in one breath and so that you can test your tank so you want to do get to about halfway to your tank at the top and then when you come down and rev you've got the rest of your tank to finish off okay now um if you're doing it and it's not working that great you have to relax this is another thing in singing we get too tense with things and we try too hard so you got to just relax and <laughs> right if you go <laughs> and trying really hard and pressing your lips really hard you ain't going to get there so let's do it again you're going to breathe in and just go. Okay. And if you do that, that's going to warm up the outside. And if that's all you've got, that's all you can do, that's fine. Just do that. If you're able to do the tongue one or learn to do the tongue one, I know a lot of people say it's an inheritance thing, but I think if you do anything and try anything, you can you can master anything. So with this tongue one, again, it's relaxed. It's not, right? You're going to start low, go high, go up to your highest, and then curl over, okay? Here we go. And this is going to vibrate, because remember, your tongue's all the way to here. So it's going to make everything shake. Which means if there's mucus and everything just sitting around from the day, it's going to move. It's going to get out of the way so that you can have a clean voice to sing or speak or do whatever you need to do. So here we go. Breathe in. How'd you go? Feel like you're on play school? <laughs> 
Sesame Street bicycle, it's like you're a kid again. It's great. And do it again, okay? And if you should really feel that all, the minute you vibrate everything, it relaxes it too. So when you're sick in things and you're feeling mucky and gross, this vibration can really relax all your muscles if they're tensed up, which is good for you. Let's try it again. Okay. You can also play with your mouth. Some people, it might be your shape. If you want to change your shape to try to muck around with your sound doing that, go for it. So for me, that is warm-ups. It's And you can do that five seconds before you get up on the stage or if you're like, oh, man, I need to get this done on the, on, in the car on the way to something. That will make everything wake up and just go, hi, I'm here, and not break up every tissue in your body with doing sirens and heaps of scales and just wearing out your voice before you need to go do a session of singing or practice.